Engine 5, Engine 1, Engine 101, Squad 1, Rescue 1, District 1, District 2, Tower 7 for rapid intervention, House Fire, Engine 5, Engine 1, Engine 101, Squad 1. So my name is Walter Lewis. I'm a district chief with the Orlando Fire Department. Uh, next month I celebrate my 25th anniversary and uh, I've enjoyed almost every single day being there. There were a couple of challenging times through the course of my career, but it's nothing that the fire department created. It's just the challenges that come along in the business. Well, when I was born, my father was a police officer. I had two older brothers. They ultimately became volunteer firefighters along with my father in the town that I was growing up in Metro New Jersey. Little town of Maywood, 20 minutes outside of New York City. The volunteerism spirit was pretty strong. Spent a lot of time visiting the firehouses and as a youngster, I was enthralled with either being a garbage man or a fireman because they both rode on cool looking trucks. And uh, as time went on, the firefighter thing was a little more appealing. appealing. At 10 years old, my father retired and moved to Florida and it, it created a separation between all the contacts and everything that I had, but the inspiration was already there. My name is Steven Negley. I'm a firefighter with the city of Orlando. I'm currently a lieutenant assigned to Engine 16 on B shift in the Lake Nona district. Uh, we just passed uh, 17 years with the city of Orlando. Yeah, my dad was a volunteer um, and growing up he had a lawn business and we helped with the lawn business and anytime a fire call would go out or a call would go out, he would go to the fire station and we didn't get to go the, on the calls but we would hang around the fire station waiting for him to get back and um, just hanging out in the fire station growing up and that's what kind of spurred the uh, inspiration. Learn the realistic expectations of what the fire service is. It is an all-encompassing hazard mitigation service. So to go into it with the romantic vision of every day you're gonna go to fires and kick down doors and save babies and you know have a cape and mask and a light shine in the sky with your initials, you're gonna be disappointed, but it can be very fulfilling. It's pretty neat to be able to show up and be given a mental and physical challenge and succeed and come to an answer and usually the right answer with limited information in a short amount of time. Start young. Um, it's, it's a calling. Uh, it's not for everybody. Um, so start young, because if you realize it's not what you want to do, you can you have time to change. Um, and it's, it's a young man's game. It's definitely uh, for the young guys. Um, as, as people get older, it's, it's a lot harder to do. Um, and that's why the uh, retirement age is, is <laughs> Not really the retirement age, but the, the uh, death after the career is very young. I didn't, I couldn't quite say I had the aspirations to be a district chief. I always wanted to be a company officer. To progress through the ranks, I wanted the ability to affect positive change. And in some cases, I could do it more so from the rank I was at. Sometimes it's grassroots. Sometimes it's from a company officer perspective where you can inspire the crew that you're with and see the immediate result. But now as a district chief, the ability to make the best working environment for the people that are there with the capabilities that the fire service offers, the equipment, the techniques, training, so forth. So to just put everything in place, because if, if not me, then who? Uh, I feel I have uh, something to give. I feel that, that by, by promoting up, I can uh, train others and, and give them information that will help them in their career. And um, as, a, as a lieutenant, you get to have a little bit more say in how the day goes. So you can, uh, what's the word? control the, the day better and see how things go. Favorite role was company officer, and it depends on the crew. Everything depends on the crew. Um, when you have a crew of high-level performers or people that are just motivated, and they could be the least trained, but I can train people, you can train people, any of us can train people, it's the attitude. When you have good attitude people that are high-level performers that, that are mission-driven, they'll want to do a good job, and it's that ability to capitalize on that to drive them to where whatever the challenges are, you'll walk out successful. And to that, I think, is a very helpful measure to succeed through the bad calls, knowing that you were prepared as best as possible, you did all that you could, and that it just was 
was the circumstances that dictated how the outcome came about, not your failures. Now as I work as a chief officer, my inference on firefighters is a lot less. So I have to work with company officers and I'm blessed. I have some great company officers to work with these days. I've had many over the time that have been a chief so far. But in having them, that they will enable me to work with them and the other crews at the same time or individually, it kind of exercises a demon within me of you know wanting to get that training bug out of me. But it also allows me to work with the crews in a compatibility sense so that it's not just a, such a focused, it's an overlap. Mm -hmm. And allows me to truly understand how well they're gonna perform, where we can fix any deficiencies. I'd almost make it a teetering balance, but it's like a 51 49 balance there as towards company officer. That's a, a tough question. Um, there's really two roles. I, I like being a lieutenant, uh, lieutenant, because you can, like I say, control the day. Um, you have a lot of say in what things, how things get done, and, and how, to, how you get to train and work with your crew. Um, engineer was also a very good role, a rewarding role. Uh, to me, I, I love the engineer role. Um, I teach the driver operator program, so um, I think there's a lot of responsibility there. You know, getting the crew to the scene safe, operating the trucks, that was a, a, a fun role. But if I had to pick one, I think lieutenant would probably be my, my favorite role. I wouldn't say it's the one call, it's the calls that go of the same level of mission-driven discipline uh, on the fire ground operations. So one that stands out as many years ago, it's a single family residence, block house, fire and quadrant alpha, it's a slam dunk. But some of these calls have a tendency to go sideways because everybody tries to jockey somebody out or do something better or you know, beat the other company in and stuff. So we did the right thing. We, we slid past, my engineer did the right thing. I was sliding past the address, gave the address to the truck, even though it was a one-story house. And in the second two engine laid the supply line, we stretched the line off, the firefighter did all the right steps. We got in under the smoke, moved in, shut the doors to the other bedrooms that would get affected once we opened that bedroom door that was fully involved. And we saved 90% of the house by some simple measures of just taking a moment, doing those right things, communicating to the outside, take the windows, gave it a three count, let it level itself out a little bit and, and want to go that way so it less wanted to come this way. Open the door, op open the line up, slam dunk. I think we used 50 gallons of water to put the fire up. And, and it wasn't the intensity of the fire, it was the discipline in each of the performers. And there's a difference between initiative and uh, freelancing. Freelancing is just doing what you want to do because you think you should do something. Initiative is being able to read the scene, understand what the role is and engage in a coordinated effort. And a lot of that happened. And those are my favorite calls, okay. is when good company officers good personnel make the right choices so that Mrs. Smith can win? Um, yeah, a few years ago we had a, a fire call that um, it, everything just fell into place. It was a uh, pretty good fire showing on arrival of the two-story apartment and fire out the couple windows on the second floor um, and just everyone worked great. The first line we went into the fire, second line went to Long End Attic like they're supposed to for our SOPs. Um, it actually auto extended into another building which was pretty close. Uh, the third line went to there, and fourth line went to that long end. So everything just went really well. It was a, it was a two alarm fire that um, it was probably the one of the most fire that I've seen in my career. Um, we were fighting fire when the dispatch actually gave 10 minutes of the alarm. We were still actively fighting fire. So that was a, a good one. Um, but everyone did their job, nobody got hurt, and that was a, a really good fire. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It's not really a call, but so my brother uh, committed suicide. Um, he was a, a district chief with the city of Orlando. And back in 2016, he uh, committed suicide for whatever reason, we will never know. Um, but we grew up with the fire service together. Like I said, my dad was a volunteer and we grew up together. Started at about the same time. And after that, I really, I took a lot of time off. And, and I, I never, I loved the fire service, best job in the world. And, and I never thought for once that I wouldn't be doing it. And there was a little bit of time after um, his passing that I almost didn't want to come back. It took me a few months to, to realize, you know, yeah, I got to get back into it. And that first shift back was, was definitely one of the hardest shifts I've had. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's funny, I was talking to this class about uh, don't take it home. Um, the fire department stays at the fire department, family life stays at the family. Um, try not to talk about fire stuff when I'm at the, with the family. When with the family, it's family time. Um, I jokingly, I teach a lot and I'm in the fire service a lot, but I work hard so I can play hard. 
So when I'm away from here, I'm, I'm disconnected. You know, I don't. Um, I actually worked for the city I live in before I worked for the city of Orlando. And um, it was hard to disconnect because you're, you're right there. Working over here now, I'm, I'm a, a disconnected. I can leave this. There could be a multiple line, up, line uh, multiple alarm fire tomorrow, um, and I'm at home and I won't even know about it. Which is, you know, so I don't, don't, don't connect. You know, disconnect when you're away from the fire department. And family comes first, and I deal with. I'm with the family. I'm with them.